Sharks possess an impressive ability to grow in size, which is a significant factor contributing to their intimidating nature. Imagine if a shark were as tiny as a gerbil, it wouldn't evoke fear. However, there exist sharks of such enormous proportions that they make ordinary sharks appear comparatively lethal. Allow me to introduce you to the largest sharks ever recorded in the world. Prepare to be awestruck. Number seven, fishermen catch 13-foot hammerhead shark in Florida. Florida fishermen made the evening news with their catch of the day. A few years ago, the lucky guys had an encounter with an extraordinary 13-foot long hammerhead shark in the waters off Sandal Island in Florida. The three guys filmed their amazing catch as they managed to bring the shark into shallow water and get a look at the fruits of their labor. The fishermen had been out in the Gulf of Mexico using the hammerhead's favorite food, a stingray as bait, all with the hopes of grabbing a big catch. However, when they realized that they had snagged a gigantic shark, they just couldn't believe their good fortune, it's huge. Once we got it close to beach, you saw that was hammered off. The hammerhead caught the line about 200 yards out to sea. So, the men wrestled the magnificent animal for more than half an hour to get it close to the beach. They then got their epic photos and released it back into the ocean. The guys were overwhelmed with the sheer strength of the massive shark and thoroughly enjoyed their unique close-up experience with the beautiful beast. That shark doesn't look quite so thrilled about everything though, does it? Number six. Deep Blue, one of the biggest great white sharks ever filmed. One of the biggest great whites that's ever been captured on film has also captured many imaginations in her time on this earth. The gargantuan great white known as Deep Blue measures an estimated 20 feet long, which is pretty massive when you consider that an average great white measures between 11 and 15 feet, and either way you slice it, it's all pretty big, it's massive. This extraordinary animal is stunned. Marine biologists who are just fascinated by not only the size of the magnificent creature, but also by her age believing that she may be more than 50 years old. Great whites continue to grow as they age, so this huge shark will simply keep getting bigger and bigger. The older she get, the old lady of the sea would be filmed in an amazing encounter in 2013 off the coast of Mexico's Guadalupe Island in the Pacific Ocean. Scientists have managed to tag deep blue so they've been able to track her movements. I, for one, am kind of relieved that somebody's keeping tabs on this big scary shark, so at least there might be a warning if I'm about to take a paddle in the old lady's snack bowl. Number five, American researchers tag great white sharks off Nova Scotia coast. It's a pretty rough hand to be dealt when you're a gigantic 13 foot long shark and somehow you manage to get bitten by an even bigger predator. This massive shark was part of a research trip by scientists off the coast of Nova Scotia. And that's when they hauled a creature out of the ocean that they managed to tag and take down a whole list of useful information about the animal before releasing it back into the water named Vimy by the researchers. This shark had a huge wound on his head. It was a bite mark from another shark. And then after that, the science guys said that it was likely another male shark in a fight over a female or even perhaps the female herself objecting to Vimy attempts to mate with her. They then added that shark mating is generally really violent and often results in multiple bites, which are usually to the head. Just imagine if humans were like that, whatever did bite the shark. One thing's for sure it had to be pretty hefty itself in order to fit Mimi's sizable head in its mouth. Before we go on like this video, smash the subscribe button and click the notification bell right now. This image, as far as I'm concerned, is profoundly terrified. It simply has to be one of the biggest sharks that I've ever seen. The photo was snapped some years back in Japan, and the guys in the photo are professional fishermen who had caught quite the sizable horde. They were excited because it was a good day. They were primed to set up at the local fish markets when disaster struck because it seems that somebody else had their eyes set on the fish and their nets. This shark, a lunged out of the water coming for its dinner, and must have been like something like Jaws utterly terrifying. Comment down below using the hashtag sweet topic and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed you on screen. And with that, let's keep moving. Number four, largest great white shark ever recorded, seen feasting on dead sperm whale near Hawaii. 
Remember the big old lady, the great white, who was named Deep Blue? Well, researchers who saw this footage think that it's probably her. When a film would emerge of a huge great white shark gorging on a whale carcass in the waters of Oahu, scientists who tracked the big shark state that it was Deep Blue who did it. When this shark was previously recorded, it was near Guadalupe Island off the coast of Mexico, about 2,400 miles away. But although it may seem like a long distance journey for a shark to take, for just a bite to eat, apparently great whites are able to cover enormous distances. Some have even been recorded traveling as far as 12,400 miles. This special sighting has given researchers some valuable insight into the migration patterns of female great white. The extraordinary footage of the two and a half ton deep blue scarfing down a whale sized snack has had people gossiping about the big shark. Her belly looks particularly swollen, but some people suggest that perhaps she was just expecting. While others thought that eating a whale would probably give you at least a little bit of belly bloating. For about a week, the dead sperm whale was quite the attraction in the underwater community. Lots of other sharks would turn up to the buffet for a little nibble, giving marine biologists more evidence that great white populations in the North Pacific are increasing in numbers. So, you know, perhaps it won't be a spot that I'm going to go for a swim in. Number three, marine biologist swims with 20 foot long great white shark. While spotting a great white shark would have most of us swimming extremely fast in the opposite direction and running for the safety of dry land. There's one woman who just couldn't believe her fortune when she happened upon the gigantic and super famous great white shark known as Deep Blue. Yet this shark does certainly get around, doesn't she? A marine biologist with the uncanny appropriate name of Ocean. Ramsey swam with the old lady of the sea off the coast of Hawaii and said that her incredible encounter filled her heart with joy and took her breath away. That's a brave woman because I'd certainly be breathless, but more likely from all the sprinting I'd be doing as I ran away in complete terror. Although Ramsey maintains that great whites are really just misunderstood and they swim around people all day long without eating them. But that's good. I guess she does reckon that in all her years of studying the behaviors of sharks, she's rarely seen them make a mistake with what they're eating. Now, I can't determine how reassuring that really is gray white sharks don't necessarily want to eat people that much is true, and shark bites are usually just a taste test to see if the creature in the shark's mouth is one that they actually want to consume. Apparently, they don't like the taste of people, but even if a shark only gives you a little sample nibble, that bite will likely as not leave you sleeping with the fishes anyways. Number two, huge shark scene leaping from the water off Devon coast. Sharks off the UK coast are not really that common of a sight. So when an eight foot thresher shark turned up in the waters at Torbay, it got the locals a little bit gossiping. Torbay in Devon on the south coast of England is a holiday hotspot full of paddling, toddlers, pleasure boats, a shark. Well, that's not generally considered the best thing to combine with vacationing families and rubber dainies. I mean, we've all seen Jaws, right? The big thresher shark would first be spotted by a tour boat that was out with a group looking for a cuter sea creature, like a seal or a dolphin, and boy did they spot some. It was the dolphin's bizarre behavior at first that would alert the group to the shark. It was then that the thresher would leap out of the water making sure that it got in on the visitor's holiday snaps too. You can't have the dolphin stealing the whole show, turns out though, that although they do look a bit scary, thresher are actually no threat to humans. So, the people of Devon don't need to worry about a jaw-style summer just yet. Number one to 500 pound shark, caught by fishermen, off the coast of Cornwall. Fishermen in Cornwall are more used to hauling in mackerel than a massive monster fish. So when they caught a huge poor beagle shark, they were at least a little surprised. The 500 pound poor beagle measuring more than eight feet would take fishermen two hours to reel in after they had a good look at it and took plenty of selfies of course they then let the big fish go. Although poor beagle sharks like this one are widely distributed throughout cooler and temperate waters across the globe, these guys are at risk of overfishing and their population suffered from their reputation as a good source of shark meat. It turns out that, although still quite unusual to catch such a big shark, 
These animals are becoming more and more common along the British coastline, not considered to be a risk for humans. They generally swim in deeper waters, a couple of miles away from land. However, the poor beagle has been showing up with increased regularity in the area, especially around Devon and Cornwall down in the southwest of the country. Warming seas as a result of climate change, you're seeing an overall shift in the migratory pattern of many kinds of sharks, and it's estimated that UK waters will even see great whites and hammerheads within the next 30 years. Have you ever seen a shark up close and personal? Let us know all about it in the comments below, and also surf safe out there. Check out the other cool stuff that's showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time.